<laughs> For many of y'all out there today, we're going to be walking down memory lane. When this child was born 16 years ago, it was my first trip at being a grandmother, and I was over the moon. And so many of y'all shared in my elation of being a grandmother, and y'all sent so many things uh, to celebrate Jack's birth. So many of y'all know uh, about this young man, and I had I had something sitting right here, Jack, that somebody sent me, and they had uh, they had a wood burning kit. Had oh yes, I burned special. Mm-hmm. your name in my wooden. Oh yes, star. I've seen that one. I think it's in there somewhere. It's in that. You think? Okay. Oh, there it is. There it is. I do have it laying up front. Look, create, inspire. It'd be interesting to see if the person that made it remembers. Yeah. <laughs> it said, dream, love, be, create, inspire, hope, and smile, Jack. That sounds like everything I'm doing on my YouTube channel. I know. Right now. <laughs> it does. It does. <laughs> And uh, he just mentioned his YouTube channel, and I want to tell y'all all about that, uh, but I don't think we're going to have time to talk about that, you know, uh, and make, make these crepes, too. But Jack did create him a website of the book nook. That's right. He's an avid reader. Avid. That's right. right. So I've always loved reading my entire life. You know, it's really been instilled in me from my family from such a young age. And really, I just love to read. So I decided I'd make a YouTube channel about it about three years ago. And so what's crazy is this isn't the first time I've been on your YouTube talking no, about No, no, no. That last time I was on it, maybe it was seventh grade going into eighth grade. I came to talk about it. And back then, I didn't, I filmed a couple, but I didn't do a lot. And I talk about this a little bit more on my channel, but really I was... I was nervous about what people would think about having a book review YouTube channel, you know? So I ended up not doing it, but now I'm back as a sophomore in high school and I'm super excited to be doing it now again Uh because I want to spread the message about you just should be you and do what you love. And because that's, we, we have such a small amount of time here on earth and we should really just do what we love. So if you want to see some of that, there's probably going to be a link down in the description to my channel. So if you want to go check it out, see some good book reviews, that'd be great. But you want to make these crepes? Yes, but if that won't make a grandma cry, Green St. Groceries. <laughs> I wish I wish I could multiply you, son. I mean, I'm so proud of Jack. Your mother and uh, daddy have done a wonderful job oh, uh, donating every minute to their children. And it pays off. It just pays off. Uh, Right now, all I want to do is be emotional, <laughs> and I'm going to try to get past that. How long are you going to hold that tablespoon of honey? Oh, no, so, <laughs> so here we got a tablespoon of honey to start yes. making our crepes. These yes. are and I'm going to give you the finger to scoop it out okay. with. So this is four egg whites in this uh-huh. bowl right here. So we're just going to add the honey into there. Yes, we've already separated the mm-hmm. egg whites. All right, so Jack, you, uh, we do not have a blender in this house. I can't believe it because at one time I know we had six. But uh, I'm going to just switch places with okay. you because for Christmas, Jack asked to get a crepe maker because he loves crepes. So we are doing this for the first time so we're gonna see how it ever goes together <laughs> so he i'm counting on him teaching me because i've never made a crepe but i certainly have eaten some and they were wonderful i ate one in paris on the street and um the way they served those jack was they took a fresh lemon squeezed lemon juice on it and then powdered sugar and then you know, that sounds amazing. And it was delicious. I mean, it was so fresh. So, good. so, um, so good. we can try that on one of your crepes. So we're going to have to use our food processor All instead right. of a mixer. So you can just That's start. Awesome. start. Um, you want me to get your things measured? You can go ahead and start, I guess. And yes, sir. Jack is using uh, a recipe from 
It's one cup of all-purpose flour. Oh, just one cup. Okay. So you want me to pour this into the food processor first, or you want to? Yeah, put no. Flour in that's. Thing? I mean, that's what it says. Yeah. So it's I'm just sure. everything goes in there at once. Yeah. For this recipe. Which it makes it so easy. That's right. So we might. I'll swap with you, okay. and I'll take this finger here and get out that honey because that honey went to the bottom. And I say that that honey might be important, you know, to make your crepe oh, that's a little right, that's sweet. Right. Okay, so what's next? Let's see. So we need our two cups of whole milk. Okay. We got that right there. Okay, we got it right here. I like this, just putting everything at one time, you know? It's a really easy recipe. I'm not the best cook, but I've been able to make it a couple of times, and it's been delicious. <laughs> you have made crepes before? Oh, yes, I have. So They're just not with your you crepe You don't need maker. a crepe maker to make crepes. Uh, I used to just make them in a skillet. Uh-huh, a non-stick yes, skillet. Yes, right. oh, something okay. like that. So this, you don't need one of these, but it makes it easier, but you can I, definitely still make I didn't make know them. you had, so your, your, your machine is new to you. Yes, ma'am. All right, now, darling, we uh, what's next? We did a tablespoon of vegetable oil. You already put that in there? Yes. <laughs> okay, I, th I think I got put in with the egg wipe before the video, so that's just another thing. You know, it was a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Okay. And I think it's uh, yeah, just half a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon so, or a half? Half a teaspoon. Okay. You know what? I don't think I have a half a teaspoon measure, but I can do a fourth twice. Okay. So once that's all in there, we're going to blend it for 30 seconds. Okay. All right, now this this is a little different from most food processors, so, um, you know, it doesn't twist or anything. It kind of snaps on and to take nice. it off, you mash those two buttons. So, hit it. All right. <laughs> Okay, so me and Guinea just tried to make a crepe for the first time. We didn't want it to look too terrible the first time we did it, so here we go. We're gonna make the second one. I'm gonna quickly coat this with some more nonstick spray. Then we're gonna take the batter, kind of pour it around a little bit, make sure we get enough in there, let it spread. Now we're gonna take our spreader. Mm -hmm. Move it around, try to encompass the full pan. Yes. It'd be a nice. Do they recommend, circle. you know, because you're supposed to tilt your pan, I know. Uh, do they not recommend tilting this so I don't think so. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure it's like fine. That? But I don't know. I don't think it said, but it's not a big deal. And sometimes you might need to look at a little bit more. You know, this is actually a big crepe maker. Oh, yes, I, I think it's 10 inches, which is. Uh -huh. If I was going to make a crepe here, I'd probably make it like this big, you mm -hmm. know? But you know, the bigger it is, the more stuff that you can fit in it. So that's right. Really <laughs> that's right. And Jack, you know better than anybody else that uh, practice makes perfect. Right. The more right. you do it, the better you right. get at it. Yeah, that looks well, great. Uh -huh. Can you stand a little bit more? Of course, small bit right there. Yeah, just ready to... T90. There you go. Yeah, this this thing cooks it pretty fast, so it does. Like you would normally cook a crepe what a minute and a half. That's that's what my guy told me to do. But this it's a good little cooker. So mm -hmm. like I said, the more we do this, the better it's going right. to get. So in a minute, after we take it off, we're each going to make our own signature crepes. Again, he has one that she had, where did you have to in, 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 in Paris. France. So in, in Paris. Paris. Like a real crepe. So she's going to make one that she had a long time ago. And I'm going to make my, the normal crepe, uh, crepe I always make whenever I like to cook. So that looks about done. So there's a couple different ways that you can cook crepes, or not cook, prepare them uh -huh. once you're done. So you can either make a burrito, kind of like this one here. Uh -huh. And this is whenever you have more of substance inside of it, like if you put all these berries, some Nutella, that's the uh -huh. kind of thing. But if you're just kind of buttering it up and putting some lemon juice, like Gaines gonna do, and you fold it into kind of triangles is what it's like, and it's just a little, like a little, you know, fold up crepe. Yeah, so. yeah, you can eat it any way you want to. There's no rules. Oh, that looks good. So I think I'm gonna try to flip it now. Okay. Try to get uns. Yeah, I think it's important that you really cook it the full minute mm -hmm. and a half. 
Uh, now, this crepe maker may not get as hot as those big griddles that they use in Paris. I mean, you know, those things are hot and there to perfection with the no. heat. <laughs> my oh, flipping skills are... They will get better. Yeah, I'm, that's my biggest... Uh, obstacle in cooking is trying to flip things. That is okay, darling. You will get better. Try to spread that out a little bit. That looks about good. These strawberries that you bought are beautiful. Oh, yes, ma'am. I, I saw all these berries. They look beautiful. I know I had to get them. But crepes, really, it doesn't really matter how pretty they are because <laughs> well, no. eventually you'll just roll them up or do something with them. So it's not too big of a deal if they end up looking like, like this. And you know, Eddie was asking you a while ago if you've ever had a cake, a crepe cake. No, I have not. They look Would delicious. Not be delicious? I've never made enough for a uh, crepe but, cake. But. <laughs> you eat them before you could um, snack them. But it would be like those old kind of cakes that have been made here in the South, you know, like the 16 layer chocolate cake. Right, yes, ma'am. Uh, be a little thicker than that. But. All right, so now what do you want to put on this one first? So do you want to show me yours first? Now yeah, I'm excited. I, to test I don't it out. think it's quite done enough, though. Check, check it out. Tell me what you think. Honey, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I'm a crepe eater, not a crepe maker. Okay, I, I, I think it, it looks. <laughs> maybe give it. Yeah. A couple more seconds. Yeah. Yeah. yeah my spatula work is. <laughs> Here, let me see if I can. Four. There. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Awesome. Yeah, that's perfect. I don't care what it looks like. Oh yeah, it's not a big deal. All I care about is what it tastes like. Oh. All right, so I'm going to cut my lemon. There you go. Okay. Now in Paris, they they did the lemon while it was up here. Oh, they didn't. Yes, but I don't I don't know that that matters. Just a little fresh lemon juice and powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. Now you could put anything you wanted to of on course. it. This is just the way they served them on the street. So how how do they fold them up? Jack, you know I really can't remember. But I'm thinking it was it was easy to eat. I'm thinking it was like something like that. You know, there's many yeah, ways that you can fold course. them. So would you like to try this one? I would. Let's do it. Okay. It looks amazing. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. and take a look at that. That looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's good. Very good. Yay! <laughs> it's delicious, actually. It's Might not be the prettiest, but... Oh, no. Uh, definitely delicious. Oh. It's good, eh? I'm back in three. <laughs> you love it? Awesome. I think it's delicious. I love that lemon juice, Jack. It just oh. gives it a fresh... Really fresh. Yeah, a really fresh kick. Uh... It's not too sweet. Oh, I'm eating this, so I'm sorry. No, it's okay. We're about to make it. Let me cut it in hand. Sure. But Paris is one of the places I've always wanted to go internationally. That's probably number one on my list of where I want to go one day. Make sure you go. So, y'all, uh, you know, I was talking about how wonderful people were celebrating Jack's birth with me. And Jack, when he was little, maybe three or four. Around then. You were very young, but also very smart. And I came over one day and Jack said, Guinea, I opened a restaurant. I said, you have? Does your restaurant have a name? And he said, it's called Rooster's. Rooster's Restaurant. And so we went in there and... <laughs> He seated me and uh, he took my order and I said, well, do you have any help? Do you have any help here? No, it's just me. I said, so you do the cooking, the serving and everything? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> and uh, so a wonderful man out there made a beautiful metal sign yes, saying Rooster's Restaurant. 
and it's probably this wide. It's still in my but, room. It's hanging up right now. It's in your room, Rooster's mm-hmm. Restaurant. Those are the sweetest memories that you made. In my play kitchen, you know, I remember and that yes, so well. I know. That's one of my most vivid memories from so like three and four. That is one thing I can still remember. Uh huh. And you know, those younger ages. And then I came over a, a few weeks later, Jack, and I came into the playroom, and you said. Gimme, I built a hotel where you can sleep. You know, your granddaddy Dean had built some kind of... The fort. The fort, yes. So I said, oh my goodness, where is it? And he just said, you know, it's it's very close to the restaurant right here. (laughs) And uh, you can go on in and somebody will bring your bags. I mean, you had thought this thing out. And um, so I got in there in the fort. And uh, you told me it, well, you would call me, seems like, when it was time to come sit down and eat to order my food. <laughs> but it was wonderful. So uh, Maddie has never uh, seemed to have the real love of getting in the kitchen and playing with the food at all. He just yeah. likes to eat. He likes to eat a lot. <laughs> He's recently, Rooster's come out of retirement, just like my YouTube channel. Oh, really? So about once a week, Matthew makes him, he makes me go to the store and find him some food to cook for him. He loves to eat veggie burgers now. Cause oh, he does? I don't know where he learned that from, but and he, he loves regular Maybe burgers. Maybe he feels too. like he can eat more veggies. Maybe. I, I think that's it, yeah. actually. so Without doing a great deal of harm. Okay, so it needs to be taken down. Okay. Okay, baby. Can can we transfer that to that sheet right there? Yeah, so I can lay it out. But Rooster's also opened a second Ooh. business. There's Rooster's Restaurant and the Creperie de Paris, which is his second location, which Matthew loves to go and eat at. So, yeah, and maybe where, I'll where, bring where is this restaurant? Oh, just, just in, our, in our, your uh, imagination. Oh, just his <laughs> kitchen. His <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> at Rooster's Restaurant. I love it. I love it. You know, I've told everybody for years. This room is the most wonderful room in the house to make memories that last forever. Mm-hmm. And uh, to bond with your children or grandchildren, niece, nephew, whoever. Uh, so now that we've told the story about roosters, you want to go for another one, Fanny sure. Boy? So and take Nutella. Yeah, I like a lot too. So. You see how much we can get on there. <laughs> yeah. And after it sits on there a minute on that warm, it'll spread easier. Okay, great. So okay. I spread around the Nutella, and I'm going to do a, a little bit of strawberries. And I want to cook mine just a little bit longer. I think that... Yeah, I like mine still a little bit, you know. Soft. Soft and gooey. Yeah. yeah. And the blackberries, too. Oh, my goodness. I know, it's going to be very full. This one, some of them you have to eat with a fork and knife here you because know, they're, they're too big to pick up, and this That's might, right. be, this might be one right. of those. You know, there's no right or wrong way to eat a crepe. Of course. Um, now, would you like lemon juice on top of that, or you want to make a separate with lemon juice? We'll make a separate one with lemon okay. juice, and then I'll put some powdered okay. sugar on here. Okay. Do you want it on the inside or the outside? We'll put it on the outside. I think it looks better. You, you know. use those strawberries, right? Yes, ma'am. Good, because I sweeten them just to ever so little bit. Are you put sugar on them? Oh. Just a little. I love that. Say on the outside, not on the end? Yes, ma'am. There's a little bit of a crack. That's all right. That one can, that's how you can go upside down. All right, let's see. Oh, you got a plate. <laughs> wow. It looks like a burrito from a it Mexican does. restaurant. <laughs> and you know what? We love burritos too. So. <laughs> there you go. That looks great. And then for the decoration, I'll see if I can get it as good as your, your decorating skills are. Impressive to me. Oh, thank you, son. This is so easy right here to make the strawberry flower. You know, you just take it and slice it down. Uh, oh, I see. Thing, and then you just spread it out. 
I didn't take a long time to do that one, so. What do you think? <laughs> I think you need a fork. I think so, too. <laughs> okay, you want to get a fork, too, and you can have that in? I will. I will. No, I don't want that much, Sonny Boy, but I do want one bite, like, just right here. To see which one I like the best, the, the lemon mm -hmm. or the... Mm -hmm. Look at this huge bite. I know. I, I didn't mean to cut off that much. This is this is my favorite right here. It's so delicious with the Nutella and all the fruit. Yes. It's delicious. Wait, Jack. Uh, my favorite is the lemon. Did you see what your grandmother just did? What, what did you do? I flipped this. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, awesome. That was great. You so, know, I'm always scared of anything new that I've never done before. Mm -hmm. But I think cooking it just a tad longer. But you know, smart. it's totally up to the of one that you're feeding. Of course. Your tongue. Yes, sir. That's the important one. Our, our crepes are really two different styles. You know, yours is more of the, the crepe is the, the best part of it. And mine yes. is the vessel for all of the sugar. All the things That's, that you love so much. <laughs> oh, you're so precious to your grandmama. All right. What you want to say to him? Just thank you for watching. <laughs> it was so much fun cooking these crepes for you, Denny. What? You had a great time. Yeah, it was yeah. great. So I hope y'all have had fun today because uh, I know Jack and I did. And his your crepes are wonderful. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. For and the you. more we make, the better they will look because there was nothing wrong with the taste. A simple few ingredients. So I hear you, Uncle Bobby just walked in the door. What fire. Hey, Uncle Bobby. Hello. Were your ears burning? We were just talking oh, about fire. you. Fire. <laughs> Hello. Look what we got here. Look what the cat dragged in. Yeah, me. What's up, Jack Dean? Hey. Well, since I'm on the camera now, I'll walk over. How are you, man? Good to see you. Got tall for you. I know. I remember the day your parents came and told me that they was having you. I know. One of my favorite pictures is that one over there, Bobby. With me and Jane kissing Jack. And Jack. He had just been born. Mm -hmm. They just brought him in yep. uh, from the operating room. And one of you was on each side just yep. eating him up with y'all's eyes. That was a beautiful day in our life. It was. It was. <laughs> so, having said that, uh, Jack has got a project that I'm looking so forward to us doing a video on that because I'm very proud of you and it's interesting and Thank wonderful. You. So until next time, y'all, we send y'all love and best dishes. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.